So now it's time for the ascending triangle pattern. And in my opinion, this right here is one of the best chart patterns out there. This pattern is a bullish continuation pattern. So before the pattern appears, we need to see an uptrend. And after the pattern, we see the price continue towards the upside. The most important part about the ascending triangle is that during the pattern, we need to print consecutive higher lows. And this is very important. And what we also want to see here is that we want to see the highs of the pattern to be around the same level. These highs doesn't have to be exactly at the same level, but they should be around the same level. And what we do here is that we draw an upward slo sloping line connecting the lows and we draw a horizontal line connecting the highs. The first pullback after the break of the resistance is also an important point and I will talk about that very soon. So now let's take a look at the ascending triangle strategy. Here we have a great real life example of an ascending triangle. You can see that before the triangle appears here, we have an uptrend. Then we saw the price clearly printing consecutive higher lows. And we also saw highs here coming in at pretty much the exact same level. The most common entry point here is to enter at the break above resistance. And as with pretty much all breakout entries, what we're looking out for is that the candle that breaks out we want to be strong. We want the real body of the candle to be larger compared to the real bodies of the candle inside the triangle. So we buy at the candle close of the breakout candle. The stop loss here is pretty straightforward. We want to set the stop just below the most recent low inside the triangle. So we want to set the stop loss just below that line. Here we can once again use a risk to reward ratio of one to two so our target would be right around here. With that said, not all breakouts will be perfect like this example. You can see right here, the price broke above and it never looked back. But many times you will see that we will have a breakout and then after a while, the price will be pulling back. So another way to enter the ascending triangle is to enter at the pullback after the breakout. And here you can either enter at the break of the pullback, so you can enter at the breakout, or you can enter at the support of the pullback following the break of the triangle. This video was just a short clip from our full chart patterns trading course. So if you have some time over, I recommend to click or tap on the screen right here to watch the full course. I hope to see you guys in the full video very soon, but for now, take care, ciao, ciao.